everyone, welcome to my Valentine's series. Ooh, sounds serious, doesn't it? I sound so important. I have a series. Just kidding. Today, my Valentine love inspired drink is a drink that my husband and I absolutely just, ugh, we love this drink so much. It was inspired by just something in my head, of course. Everything that I make comes out of my head. Sometimes it's scary being in that place. So I am making a dark cherry bourbon cocktail. Now I am actually using cherry bitters. This is the first time, I mean, I've tried a bitter and I've been hearing about them, seeing it. And you know, I'm, I'm like, well, I don't know. So I tried it and uh, that's phenomenal. So obviously I'm going to go get so many other flavors of the bitters just to try. So I've already made my cherry. Now this is a combination. I've used this before, but this is a little bit different. I use the dark cherry and the tart cherry because one is sweet and one is tart. And then I used a blood orange. And the reason I did that is because I also think that cherry and orange along with bourbon are just, I mean, this right here, this drink is just, it's phenomenal with the flavorings. So I zested the orange and put it in my water with my cherries and I squeezed half of the orange into there. So I have a little bit of orange juice in here also. Pureed it, strained it through my cheesecloth. So this is just cherry orange juice. That is a good combination. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my bourbon. This is a great drink. It's it's been kind of on and off as far as cool weather. And I definitely love bourbon in the winter or when it's cool outside because it just, it warms you so much. It just kind of like warms your soul. So what better way for to have a Valentine's drink than one that's just warming, it tastes great and just makes you feel all over good. So I put in my shot of bourbon. Now I'm going to take some of my cherry juice and I'm just going to pour just enough because you want the flavoring in there but we're also going to add some other things so you don't want to fill it up then i'm going to take the hint cherry water this is really good water it's it's very subtle it's light it's not like real heavy Ooh, that's a lot of flavor it's just a hint of cherry flavor so i'm going to fill most of it up with my cherry water because you know all my cocktails that's my secret is all my, all my cocktails are made with some sort of flavored water, but all the water that I use is not sweetened, it's just flavored. Now, something that's kind of an unexpected twist on this is ginger lime water. Now, I know that sounds funny, but a splash of this just makes this drink over the moon phenomenal. I love sparkling ice. Their waters are really good. They have a ton of flavors and the combination of flavors is, I mean, they're interesting and they're so good. Another, these are another water that's not overwhelmingly flavored and it's not sweetened. And this also has antioxidants and vitamins. So you can't beat that. Am I right? Then I'm going to put in a splash of my cherry bitters. This combination, I'm telling you, I put in probably five or six splashes. You don't want too much of this. This is cherry and it's bitter. <laughs> so, I mean, the combination is just phenomenal. Let me mix it all up. Cheers to you and your Valentine. This is a match made in heaven. These two should be married. These flavors right here are just, oh, and the bourbon is kind of, it's kind of almost actually in the background, but you can taste it. So the bourbon is just really warming. And then you have the brightness of the cherries and you have a little bit of that ginger lime and it, it really does bring kind of an unexpected fun twist to your drink, but it's so good. And all of these together, just like I said, this is just a match made in heaven when it comes to flavorings. You got to try this drink. It is amazing. Now see, we drink it for, I mean, I made it the other day because I, like I said, I bought the cherry bitters and I'm like, you know what? I just want to try something. So I made this combination and my husband's like, wow, that's really good. Now on the sparkling ice, 
They do have a cherry, a black cherry that's really, really, really good. And it has a little bit more flavor than the hint, but the hint makes it lighter because, you know, there are some days when I don't really want a, like a heavy tasting drink because, you know, when it's really cold outside, I like a heavier taste, but today is just, this is just absolutely perfect. So make this drink for your Valentine. They will love you and it forever. Of course, then you probably have to keep making drinks for them, but that's okay. That's what this is all about, is have fun. So I am going to put the recipe and everything that I use in the description box below. Make this drink, let me know what you think, and let me know if you're gonna make this drink a staple in your life also, because trust me, it is good. Quick, simple, it takes maybe three or four different ingredients, and you only have to use all of them. You can use just the bourbon and just water. You don't have to make this. You can use the bourbon, water, and some cherry bitters. It's a very, very easy, simple drink, and it's basically water and bourbon, but with flavor. So see, healthy, quick, and delicious. So try it. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching today's video in a series of Valentine videos. So I will see you in my next video with my next big giant Valentine surprise. Cheers to you and your love. May you always have love in your life. Cheers.